So now we are in the topic of erratic motion, so which means that the particle is in changing position. Okay, so the velocity of a car is plotted as shown. Determine the total distance of the car moving until it stops. So the total distance is basically s uh, at t equals to 80 seconds. Construct the AT graph. So first, determine uh, the distance. So in order for you to determine the distance, you can just calculate the area under the VT graph. So this is um, the V. Okay, so this is V and this is a T. Um, and distance is S. So we have uh, 10 times 40 plus uh, half uh, 10 times 40. Okay. So now, since we have these values, so just calculate this. So you're going to have 600 meters. So yep, this is completed the, the first question. Okay, completed the first question. Okay, so now we have um, the second question. Uh, construct the AT graph. So what is acceleration? Acceleration is A equals to dV over dt. And then uh, we have two time interval. So this is the first time interval. This is the second time interval. Okay, this is the first time interval. And this is the second time interval. So 0 to 40 and 40 to 80 seconds. So for time interval, the, the first one. So 0 seconds. Okay to 40 seconds so a equals to dv over d a equals to dv over dt okay, let me change that okay so uh, here you see that the velocity is constant so acceleration equals to zero and then we have uh, the second time interval so for from 40 seconds to 80 seconds so here uh, you see there is a change in uh, velocity okay change in velocity in fact uh, the particle is decelerating okay so when we try to finish this okay so a equals to dv over dt okay Okay, um, yep. So let's calculate the gradient. So V minus 10 divided by T minus 40 equals to 0 minus 10 and then T 80 minus 40. So this is basically calculating uh, the gradient. Uh, of the line so once we have the gradient of the distance so we have this uh, v equals to minus 1 over 4 uh, times okay 1 over 40 times 20 meter per second and then a equals to dv over dt so once we integrate this we are going to get the answer as minus 1 over 4 and this equals to minus 0 0.250 meter per second per second so now we have um, uh, these values okay from a uh, from t 0 to 40 and then uh, from t 0 to 80 so when we plot this what we are going to have is the 80 graph okay if this is the a in meter per second square and this is t in seconds 
so we divide from 0 to 40 seconds to 80 seconds and then from 0 to uh, 0 to 40 is going to be 0 and this is going to be 40 to 80 and the particle is decelerating so this is going to be minus 0 0.25 so this is the final answer